Basically, I've just seen you do 10 rounds of sparring, actual yeah. sparring, which not everyone knows you don't do. <laughs> it's just, a, oh, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm bored of this and all that. If you look at, if anyone that's followed my career, not these, not the new critics, because anyone that actually knows me or has watched my career, even in amateurs, I was sparring James Aguil and Chris Eubank um, Jr. and a, a lot of other pros, Andrew DeBeaty and Vegas. I was in Vegas, I was in Floyd Gym sparring like every day. So. Um, it's funny when you hear that we don't spar. People are saying he didn't spar for his world title for a year, right? <laughs> it's just funny, man. But um, that's what critics are there for. Um, it just makes it entertainment, it gives it balance. The ring is, is, is smaller as well. It just, it's, it's very well, intense. Intimate. Intimacy. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it, intimacy. No, but um, again, I went to another gym the other day. I just never used to talk about my sparring, that's it. But I went to a gym the other day in Loughton, um, my good friend's gym, Mark. And he's got a massive room, massive room. So it's good to get like the difference. And I was just, I was moving a lot, coming in when I wanted to. But this one's intimate. So I've been the things I've been working on, without talking too much, has been coming off. Help a lot because of this room. Paul, we've just done eight rounds without the yard. How was it? Fantastic. Really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. He's solid, strong. Got up his opponent. So he's gonna he's gonna knock him out. Is this the first time you sparred him? It's the first time, yeah. Yeah, and I'm not going to miss an opportunity to spar in the yard. In, in terms of his power, I mean, obviously you sparred a lot of guys, you fought a lot of guys. How, how does it compare? He dropped me in sparring with a body shot. I've never been it like that. The body shots are incredible. He's got some serious power there. He really has. Yeah, man. I've always, you know what? I've always been a, a, a beast. I've literally always been a beast. Um, that's always, this has always been my mentality, but now nah, there's a lot of, the beast is back basically, but it's about also working on things and executing. So I'm looking forward to fighting that because that's when you're able to actually see what your practice has been doing. So good, man. so good. Excellent, yeah. Keep it up, you see the slip on the side? Nice. Good work, man. Yeah, and he's, he's looking well. He's looking well as he's, I'm sure his sparring partners can attest. Okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think the, the, the joke's over now. The objective of the game is longevity. So we don't want to spend our time sparring, sparring, sparring and have nothing for the fight. <laughs> so, you know, sparring plays its part. It's, 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 it's instrumental to a fighter's development. So we use it as and when, but we don't, as you see, we don't, we're not into wars. It, it, it plays no benefit for a fighter. Uh, in the short term and the long term, in my opinion, because you don't learn when you get in the ring, you learn outside. It's the good ring. boxing. Good boxing. You're pulling the trigger sooner now as well when you get in there. It's good. I like that. Your opponent, I mean, yeah, no slouch. He's southpaw. Got a good uh, knockout ratio. Only been beaten five times. Coming all the way from America, so probably not coming just to make the numbers up. Colombiano. They're tough. Yeah, South America. I That's say, what I'm yeah. saying. Col Colombians are tough, but he trains in America. Um, and again, he was he was a prospect. He was a, um, a big prospect, so I don't overlook anybody, man. Again, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a professional, and um, he's got a lot of knockouts on his record. He's got a good winning record as well. Um, as you said, he's, he's lost five, but that's not my focus. My focus is me. Um, it's my career, and how I perform is what matters. I don't expect everyone to do the research I have, but he was once a talked about prospect himself. You know, he's coming quite a good win. Um, but as I say, he's only been beaten by credible opponents. So we ain't taking this opponent or any opponent lightly. We have to be on our game, uh, which we will be. And uh, Alex Turan, you know, Colombia, short USA. You, one thing you know is that Americans don't usually come over here to mess about. They're coming over to win. And he's coming with, obviously, he's, he's, he, he wants to spoil the apple cart. But he might be eating apples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're ready. It's, it's exciting. If and when you win your next fight, then it looks like the rematch with Lyndon Arthur. Absolutely. And um, that's, again, I don't overlook anybody. Um, I'm not even overlooking Lyndon Arthur because, again, my, my dreams and aspirations are the world title um, to start with. And then I will, you know, inject more goals after that. But it's just the, um, the journey and the process that you've got to go through. Um, Boxing is a beautiful sport because, again, there's only two people in the ring and um, everyone wants the same thing. So um, that's what I love about boxing and 
I think I'll love box for the rest of my life. <laughs>